Hey, Thunderpoke is here. Today I'll recap a drama, romance movie from 2000, name, Melina. Now grab a cup of coffee and enjoy the recap. In the beginning scene of the movie, we see a gorgeous woman, whose name is Melina, she is very beautiful. Melina lives in a small village and she is the most beautiful woman in town. Everyone in the city likes her, whereas the women in the town are jealous of her, and want to be like her. Every man in the city wants Melina to be theirs. There is a boy in the town, named Renato, who is much younger than Melina. One day, Renato gets a new cycle and goes to show it to his friends. Then, his friends tell him that they have heard Melina is about to pass through here and all of them wants to see her. That's why they sit at one place. At that time, Melina starts passing through here, and these people very happy to seeing her. When Renato sees her, he keeps looking at her and he could not take his eyes off her. When Melina passes by, then all of them start following her again until Melina reaches inside the city. All of them keep chasing her. Then we see Melina's father, who is a teacher and he can't hear anything. He is teaching students in his school. All students are sitting in their classroom, and they talk about Melina in different ways. These people are troubling Melina's father. At night that day, Renato goes to Melina's house, he passed the gate and starts looking at her. Melina is lying sad at home. Here we find out Melina's husband has gone with the army during the war and hasn't come back. On the other side, we see Renato and his friend talking about Melina. Renato's friend tells him once Melina had ordered him for a cigarette. So, the rest of the town used to say Melina is not a good woman. Various things were spread about Melina in society. After that, we see Renato has started liking Melina a lot. Renato hears from many people that Melina is not a good woman and talks openly to everyone. Now, slowly Renato also starts imagining about Melina and starts thinking of Melina. Renato wanted to live like an elder, but in reality, he was a teenager. Once Renato gets his father's paint cut and wears it himself because he doesn't like wearing his shorts. His father gets very angry with him about this and beats him. But Renato still doesn't improve and now he keeps chasing Melina all the time. He used to look at Melina from the hole he had made, whereas Melina does not know anything about this, that someone is watching her. Then suddenly, this news comes to Melina, her husband has been martyred in the war. Melina gets very upset after hearing this news and starts crying. Here we find out Melina loved her husband very much. When she came to know her husband had been martyred in the war, then her wait is over, and she stops and starts thinking about what she will do in this house. After that, she shifts to her father's house. One day, Renato is working somewhere, then he hears people talking about Melina in different ways. He feels as if only he knows the truth about Melina and now he has to tell everyone that Melina is not a bad woman and she just loves her husband. Renato now starts seeing Melina in his father's house as well and starts imagining that just as Melina has got him. He tells Melina, don't be upset, I am with you, and he speaks his heart to Melina. After this, we see Renato goes to church and prays to God to take care of Melina. Instead, he will light candles there every day. On the other hand, we see the father of Melina gets a letter in which it is written Melina's affair is going on with everyone in town and your daughter is not a good woman. Hearing this, his father gets very angry and now refuses to accept Melina as his daughter and asks her to leave his house. Now Melina had become, quite alone again, when Renato comes to know about this, that Melina has started living alone again, then he comes outside her house again and starts seeing her from the same hole. One night when he goes to Melina's house, then he sees a police officer in her house. It all seemed as if they were really having an affair. Renato feels very bad seeing this, and he thinks, I had considered her to be a good woman, and I was about to tell this to others that Melina is a good woman. He doesn't believe in this at all. That's when the police officer comes out of the house, and Renato starts hiding from her. When the police officer comes out, then he finds a doctor there. That doctor tells the police officer, Melina is going to get married to me, so what were you doing inside? And there is a fight between the two about this. Then the police also come there. After this, this thing spreads everywhere in the town that Melina has an affair with a married man, and for this, he can also be jailed. Now Melina gets very upset. After this, she goes to a lawyer and tells that lawyer, you help me. Melina's lawyer wins this case, 
and everyone gets to know that the doctor was lying. After winning this case, the same lawyer tries to force Melina. Melina holds her a lot, but she can't do anything. Renato watches all this happen, and seeing this, he gets very upset. At the same time, we see enemies attack, and Melina's father is killed. When Melina comes to know about the death of her father, then she is very sad because now she had no one who could take care of her. Whatever pension Melina used to get because of her husband was also stopped. Now, because now it was proved that her husband is now dead, Melina was running out of money. Melina thinks a lot about work, but she does not understand what she should do. But after a while, she picks up a scissor and starts cutting her hair. She thinks, this world calls me a bad woman, so now I become a bad woman. When Renato sees it all, he feels bad, and this makes him very upset. Renato now even stops drinking food in the sorrow of Melina. When his father comes to know about this, then his father does the same which Renato wanted. His father takes Renato to a place where Renato could make his wish come true. On the other hand, we see Melina, who had now become a bad woman. This is what we see now. All the men of the town come to her. Because of this, the wives of those men used to feel very bad. She is very angry, and she comes to Melina and beats her up and drives her out of town. After that, we see Melina's husband returns. He was not dead. While he is alive, someone had spread the wrong news about Melina's husband. After that, he goes to his home, but he sees that Melina is nowhere to be seen. Some other people were living in his house. He asks all the people about Melina, and everyone tells that your wife had become a bad woman and now she doesn't live here. When he goes to his friends to find out about this, then his friends make fun of him and do not support him. These people insult him, beat him, and throw him there. When Renato sees it all, he feels bad. After that, he thinks only I know the reality of Melina, and now I will tell everyone about Melina that she is a good woman. After this, Renato writes a letter to Malena's husband and tells him Melina is not a bad woman, while the villagers have made her a bad woman. These society people said very bad things about Melina. Listening to these things, Melina used to be very upset. Renato writes all this in his letter and tells the husband of Melina what happened to him and how he was taken out of here. When Malena's husband reads this letter, he gets very angry at the people here. He then goes back to pick up Melina. After this, we see that he comes back to the same town walking with his wife. After this, all the people of this society start looking towards both of them, but now everyone respects her because now her husband is with her. All the people of this town start respecting Melina again, and everyone is happy to see these two together. In the last scene of the movie, Renato meets Melina. When some things fall down from Malena's bag, then Renato picks it up and gives it to Melina and helps her. He wishes for Melina, that, your future is good. After that, both of them go on different paths, and with that the movie ends here.